Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Let's have a look on the Bitcoin price after this mess that we have seen uh, yesterday. Currently we are back into the wedge that we were in the last week, so we retrace completely back down here and now is the question, was this just a bull trap or are we gonna recover straight back up here and break the main resistance of 10,300? We have now two scenarios. The first one is that we break out again to the upside and have a sustainable push to the upside or we're gonna see a bigger correction to the downside, maybe the last big correction before Bitcoin is starting to take off. And we're also gonna have a look where could be the target in case of a drop since now we had here the possible top out here of $10,400. So we can start here in the one hour here you can see that the RSI is still oversold so it looks like that we're forming here a potential ascending triangle but we still have not enough data we have a clear resistance here at $9,500 we are trying to push above but we are not able to break through currently although the 20 moving average in the one hour is coming down so we have to see if this moving average is pressing the price down or not we are creating here higher lows but uh, so far we couldn't break it is $9,500 resistance let's see if we can break it once the 20 moving average is coming down here in the one hour time frame and if we go over to the Bollinger Band, currently the Bollinger Band is really looking weird. It's looking like a butt, so it is a really weird situation right now what just happened. And also you can see that we don't have a clear channel here in the one hour. We are just squeezing into this uh, a little tiny spot here. And now of course we have to see where is gonna be the breakout. It's really weird to see that. The MACD had a bullish cross here, but I wouldn't trust it uh, too much currently. And that's why also I'm not in a trade currently over on Bybit. So I'm waiting here for a breakout. And uh, if we go over to the four hour time frame, here you can see that currently we're trading below the 20 moving average in the four hour. And I am afraid that this moving average could be the main resistance now. So if we're not able to close a four hour candle above 9,600, I think this moving average could also press the price down. So we have to keep an eye if we're gonna start to trade again above the 20 moving average in a four hour or not. Also because the RSI is trading now below the 50. Stochastic is oversold so hopefully we're gonna see a bounce here and close above the 20 moving average but so far nothing uh, happened. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour here we have a clear channel so currently we are trading below the middle area so in theory we should be trading between 9640 so here is the resistance and down here to 9140 this should be now our new support in case of a breakdown MACD shifted to the downside so in the four hour I'm more bearish than bullish currently and I'm expecting here to have a test of 9140 pretty soon in the daily it looks a bit different because here we are still trading above the 20 daily moving average today we just came down to test it so far we hold above so that is a good sign and also yesterday after this big dump we closed above the 20 daily moving average so currently we are again in this uh, wedge RSI is at the 50 stochastic in neutral territory a little bit more to the overbought uh, side but uh, still okay so also here we have a lot of room left to the upside or to the downside but hopefully we're gonna see a big bounce here towards our main resistance up here I still think we could see a final dump before the breakout of the main resistance so let's see what will happen happen uh, next and if we're gonna drop here so if we're gonna break here this 9000 support and we're gonna start to trade again towards the 8k level I'm watching here for the fib lines here based on the bottom of 3800 and the new top that we have now at 10450 so the worst case is that we're going down to test the fib line here the 0.618 so that we go back down to $6,400 but I think already at around eight to seven thousand dollar we're gonna have a lot of buy pressure so even if we go down here I think this is just gonna be very short-lived this is what we have to see once we break down but what I think will happen is 8 and 7k will be the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoins maybe even down to 6400 and from there I think we should be good here to bounce again to the upside in case of a breakout to the downside and if we are going 
that low because currently it's still looking like that Bitcoin is holding the 20 daily moving average and we should be shifted again towards the $10,300 only in the lower time frames it looks still a bit bearish and we could see a dump but here in the bigger pictures also here in the daily it is still looking very bullish and even if we go over to the weekly even here uh, nothing much uh, has uh, changed in the opposite we created here a higher high so higher than we had the last couple of weeks uh, we came like uh, to the levels that we had in February but let's have a look also quickly on the Bollinger Band in the daily because also here you can see that currently we are still bullish here we are trading in the upper area so right now we are right at the bottom here at around $9,400 and in theory we should have a big bounce here towards $10,000 again which is very likely to happen but in case that we're gonna drop here you see the target would be even down here to $8,700 so we are currently in a very critical point also here based on the Bollinger Band and if we go over to the weekly here also you can see that we're still trading here in the upper area so we could go even down to 8250 and we would still remain in this bullish territorium here in the upper side of the Bollinger Band. MACD is also still shifted to the upside everything is still looking very bullish but of course we also have to see how this week is gonna close because that could also change pretty much everything so also here in the bitstamp chart you can see that currently we are trading above the 50 and 20 weekly moving average rsi is above the 50 so this is still looking very bullish only the stochastic is here overbought so here maybe if we see a pullback we could cool off here the stochastic before we're gonna have a really big breakout here to the upside and then we're gonna go towards new all-time highs all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now if something crazy is going on i will go live over on twitch and announce it also on discord so make sure also to join the live streams over on twitch you find the link down below here in the video description and also the invitation code for the discord trading chat you find down below in the video description is completely for free everyone is welcome and if you also want to trade with leverage bitcoin and other assets on femex for example you can trade also gold so if you need an account you find all the sign up links down below here also in the video description because with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also some rewards so definitely go and check them out if you need an account i recommend you also bybit bybit and femex are the two main exchanges that i'm using bybit for cryptos and if i want to trade also gold i go over on uh, femex so so if you need an account use the links to get these free bonuses $90 on Bybit $72 on Femex so thank you very much for watching guys if you liked the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers so thank you very much for your support and we see us all in the next one bye